Hello there, it's been a while. So I'm back with a very short video about probably the most basic Power BI data visualization tip you'll ever see. What am I talking about? So interesting thing about when we create Power BI reports is that we tend to create them with very similar dimensions. As you know, when you create a Power BI report, the standard custom page size is set here to the 16 by nine. And what we tend to do, or what many people tend to do, is change that page size so it fits a more standard um, screen, a monitor. So I've changed this one to 1080 by 1920. And as you can see here, it still fits on my page dimensions. What isn't done very often, and I never really know why, because it can have great benefits, is to just change those dimensions so that the page itself is scrollable. So this is a really quick thing I can show you. I've got this page duplicated here. And what I've done on this page, I've set the dimensions to 1600 by 1920. What that allows me to do is have a page where I can scroll down within the page itself. One thing to remember, if you do this, you have to change your page view from fit to page to fit to width. And when you do that, you have this page that you can scroll inside. Advantage of that, of course, is you can add some visuals that you would not maybe consider key visuals or the first things you want to look at when you look at the page. A great example for that, for me, is something like a matrix, which or a table, which is quite requ requested. And um, sometimes we don't want to put them on the pages. What I used to do for this sort of stuff is to add like a, um, a bookmark. So you click a button, this fancy feature, you click a button and the visualization appears. And at first it seems like this really cool, a fancy way of doing stuff, but it's actually just a nightmare to maintain. And I would much rather simply put it on my page, give me itself the option or the user, of course, the option to scroll down and they can see it there. One of the things that I've heard from someone who didn't particularly like this idea was that they didn't find it intuitive, the scrolling. I've personally found that an interesting opinion because if you think about your experience when you use anything on your computer, you tend to scroll, be it a, I don't know, social media or news article, um, whatever, Excel, Word document, you're always scrolling, right? Um, if you are worried about that, that it's not intuitive, you can do what I've done here and just added a text box, which you know, informs the user that they can scroll down to see more information. For me, that gets away from this concept that it's not intuitive. Um, I'm not suggesting you should then use this extra space, of course, to just add many more visuals because that could potentially slow down the load. We don't want that. But to add one or two more visuals, I've just done something quite basic here as an example of what you can use with this space. I'm probably going to get some abuse for using the donut chart. I don't care. Um, but yeah, really simple thing. And once you have published this, it looks exactly like it does here. So I can quickly show you how that looks in, a, in the published version. So as you can see here, this is now our published version. Very similar. We have this report page. It's open. You can scroll down. I still think that looks really good. As I say, I don't think it is unintuitive at all. Um, I know there are drawbacks, for example, if you scroll down and you want to cross filter, obviously it's going to have some issues with what you're filtering on the top part of the page. That I definitely see is sometimes could be annoying. So you have to think about how the visuals at the bottom part of the page are you going to be, are going to be used. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I think a nice idea that could actually have some benefits for something that is so very simple. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? If you don't, what you do, either way, comment, like, subscribe, all those sort of things. Thank you very much. Goodbye.